So wow. Even though we had a slight delay for season one here, we ended up today getting our first marketing material and promotion for season one in the form of a sort of Easter egg hunt. And out of that, we actually learned a ton in relation to what's coming. Of course, more so stuff confirmed, talking outside and independently of things that were data mined and leaked beforehand. But this little Easter egg hunt, admittedly, after the things like Pawn Takes Pawn, I wasn't sure what we'd end up coming away with at the very end, or if it would even end today. But thankfully, it was something that we did get conclusion, we did get a resolution, as of today after doing this stuff and it was a trailer or rather cinematic for season one that yielded a lot and that's what we're going to be breaking down here and discussing here today so that you can stay in the loop with all things coming with season one and of course there's some cool stuff to talk about so we're going to break all that down and at the very end of the video also tell you how you can experience this for yourself if you want to take some of the easter egg hunting steps but stuff will be linked in the description below if you guys want to just check out the end game stuff but for those interested it is a cool little run through but we'll let you know how to do it if you're interested after talking about what we learned. But said, as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. What are you looking forward to with season one here? Did you like this trailer or cinematic? Are you looking forward to any content in particular with season one? Or what would you like to see out of it? As well, if you are new to the channel, do be sure to hit the subscribe button. We're on that road to 400,000 subscribers. And we'll keep it the day with all things Black Ops Cold War, Warzone, and all things season one as we round into it. So if you're interested in joining the community, I'd love to have you. But said, let's take a look at this brand new trailer and cinematic. Adler has some pieces of the puzzle, but doesn't know he's a piece himself. He won't live long enough to work that out. I won't show him the mercy he showed me. I was in charge of the production of Nova 6 on Rebirth Island. I answered to Colonel Kravchenko himself. I was loyal, my star ascendant until the Americans found us. That's when I met Russell Adler. He could not break me. Tell your boss, this is for Weaver. For letting Rebirth fall, Kravchenko sent me to Gulag, where I found my true calling. He's trying to bait you, Adler. No shit. But if we don't stop them, civilians are going to die. Do it. What the hell? He's manufacturing Nova 6 again. So that was pretty badass if you ask me. But as for trailer wise, what we learned here out of this, well, firstly, in terms of narrative direction and storyline, this takes place after the mainline events of the campaign. Campaign took place in 1981. This takes place in 1984. Of course, there are a few places like that safe house that do have a crossover, but this also is a follow up to the introductory cutscene for MP that we saw when we initially booted up Cold War's multiplayer, where Perseus infiltrated a launch site and then killed the operatives during a launch drill test, but actually launched the nukes afterwards. But this follows up all of that, also ensuring that our new antagonist, Stitch, is working with Perseus, which we'll talk about in just a second. But we learn a couple of things throughout this that are kind of hidden in plain view. As for the evidence board from the campaign, that's the first big thing here, I think, that gives us some information. We, of course, get information on Stitch, where it looks like Adler and co. are hunting down Stitch, trying to figure out what's his deal, in which we see some post-it notes saying Nova 6 is gone, but Chatter says no. There's a question of if Kravchenko and Stitch are allies or enemies. There's also a sort of MO calling card for Stitch, where he's the king on a deck of cards. There's also another thing outside of this that doesn't seem to necessarily be tethered to the Stitch storyline, but instead outside in the world of the Black Ops universe, it says that Woods' BFF is 
MIA. So that's Mason missing in action. We also see a little bit of Operation Rebirth 1968, which is Rebirth Island. Stitch goes on to describe a little bit of the backstory here at this one, but it plays into the original Black Ops campaign with Nova 6 Gas. What we learned from the original ARG stuff on the website is that Stitch actually worked with Kravchenko on Rebirth Island, manufacturing Nova 6 Gas, thus the tie-ins to the evidence board about Nova 6 being littered all over it. But this also ties directly into Stitch's backstory, how he was captured during a raid, he lost his eye, and then during interrogation, he refused to give up any information, but Kravchenko still stripped him of his rank and disowned him, causing a mutual hatred when all things were said and done towards both sides. Obviously, Adler took his eye, definitely beat him up a bit, but also to be disowned by a side you were so loyal to is not anything you want either. So this ends up tying into him working with Perseus for the vision of a greater Russia. Trailer-wise, Rebirth Island is only listed narratively. We don't have any gameplay, though if you had any sort of doubt that it would be coming, there shouldn't be any now because this is the next hot drop for Warzone, or rather Warzone Rebirth, where it's going to be like Alcatraz was, Alcatraz Portals, its own separate game mode seemingly for Warzone. You'll still have the traditional Battle Royale on Verdansk, but you'll have the option also to jump into Rebirth Island. Now, outside of the little narrative clues here in terms of showing us Rebirth Island, we learn that Stitch sends a message to Adler telling him that it's time to end this at the Mall at the Pines, a brand new MP map that we'll be seeing in a 6v6 format, it seems. Right now, it seems like leaked there are two other 6v6 maps, making that also then four introductory maps for gunfight coming into Black Ops Cold War, and also a new fire team map, so eight new maps here at Season 1 is insane to me, but I love it. One thing to note, though, is that during this little sequence where Adler reads this note and he's told, you know, it's a trap, right? That he's trying to set you up. That's actually another new operator that we'll be seeing here at this. That operator name from Datamind Game Files is Zena, and whether or not they're introduced within the battle pass or in the shop or via in-game challenges, we'll have to wait and see, but that's another piece to the puzzle here that is kind of under the radar because it happens so fast. So outside of that, though, we see that we go to that mall at the Pines, and then we end up seeing a sequence where it sets up an ambush. Outside of that, we learn that Stitch intends to kill all the operators except Adler, probably to exact his revenge, but he enters like a badass. I'm going to be totally honest with you. He looks so awesome, but he's holding a brand new weapon, the Striker. And earlier in that sequence, as we see these operators enter into the mall, we can see that there's the Groza as well as the Mac 11 being held by these operators. So that's our three weapons here for season one, the Groza, the Mac 11, and the Striker, whether or not they'll be licensed as those exact exact names. We'll have to wait and see. Call of Duty in past years has been kind of strange when it comes to the licensing rights for specific weapons, and they kind of do spin off generic names for those instead of the exact ones. So we'll see if that actually is the case, but those are the three weapons, presumably two in the Battle Pass, one coming later on in the season, if it is to follow Modern Warfare's content distribution system. But that's what we learned here at this, and that's honestly awesome. In terms of world building, the lore with all of it, I'm a huge story nerd. I love that stuff, but in terms of new content that we'll actually see and guaranteed to us rebirth island is 100 confirmed and i'm excited for a new warzone experience i don't know about you guys but we also see again a new map and a couple of new weapons introduced as well as that new operator being introduced into the fold so a lot of cool stuff up on deck here at this but if you guys are interested in doing this for yourself taking a look at a little bit more backstory that was actually included within the sort of arg stuff that we had to do to unlock all of this there's six different sequences you have to do on the website six seven three seven six three four three six seven four one dot com when you first enter in you'll be prompted to input a username that can be anything that you want but you'll end up having the first sequence prompt in which that is payback that will bring you then to what was then the live feed of the number station broadcast this is all live right now but we had to wait when doing this in real time by an hour there's a countdown for each of these but the next sequence is stitch is coming to which that is giving you a little bit of information about stitch the new operator here at this again just telling you how he ties in with the storyline how he worked behind the scenes in the black ops one timeline and then how he turns to become an operative within perseus the next sequence for input is remote control and this brings up a little bit of just a fun little easter egg game for the rcxd a platformer if you will here in which as with this and the next sequence there doesn't seem to be too much other than just what's on the surface beyond this so there's not too much you need to really dig through here at this the fourth sequence is that of interrogation in which that brings up a heat map of nuketown so far, I don't think that I found anything connected here with this. It looks like there are heat 
heat maps where there are different mannequins. I went through and shot all these different ones, but didn't find anything in particular that really came out of it. The next sequence was that of Vodianoi, in which that brought up an interesting little sequence of events in which it looked like some sort of rocket trajectory path and what could be impact. But right before the video file is corrupted within this ARG, it actually spells out Nova. So a Nova 6 launch of some sort, whether or not that's in relation to something that happened within Black Ops, or if that's something still yet to come, potentially maybe the Warzone teaser for the nuke event of some kind, but we don't know just yet. That's an interesting little piece of the puzzle that again, I think needs to be expanded upon a little further. Finally, the last piece of the puzzle was that of Vajros Dania, in which that final sequence congratulates you and takes you then to this trailer that we ended up seeing coming full circle now within this video. So it was a ton of fun. Honestly, as somebody that I don't think that I'm that great at puzzles, I kind of felt like, why was I picked for this? Because I don't think that I'd normally be able to piece this stuff together. The puzzle itself was actually rather simple. These number station numbers were listed and then the cipher text that we ended up getting were just lines of numbers as well that all you had to do is take what was said in the numbers station sequence and then subtract the number on the cipher text and it gave you the number of the letter in the alphabet so for example one would be a two would be b three would be c and so on and so forth and you just had to subtract and find the number for each of the letters in the sequence code required and then you had it so it was pretty straightforward it was pretty cool to get involved with i think but other than that that's where we're at here at that. That's everything we saw here within season one's cinematic trailer and how we got to it. So that's where we're going to wrap it up. I would love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. What did you guys think of this sort of little Easter egg hunt today? Did you guys like it? Did you maybe not so much? Did you like the trailer? Did you like anything in it? Whatever it is, feel free to let me know. But hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe. So I'm single thing writing all things Black Ops, Cold War, Warzone, and anything season one related. We'll keep you to the day with all of it. So if you're interested, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss single thing. If you also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected on YouTube. Probably live on both those. If you guys want to check up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, that link is down there in the description below. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.